Well, hello there, friends. Another fantastic recipe today, a frozen tiramisu. This is a step up for any tiramisu you've ever had. I want you to try it, you're gonna love it. Stay tuned, we're gonna show you exactly how to do it. Okay, friends, another fantastic recipe today. A recipe that I used to make in my restaurant, people used to rave about it. This is my frozen tiramisu. It's like a traditional tiramisu, except we, we make it in a cake pan and we freeze it and we slice it. It's beautiful and it's amazing. It's exactly the same way you make a regular tiramisu. You're gonna love it. You got a few changes since we're gonna be freezing it, but really simple. First thing we're gonna do, friends, we're gonna make a zabayon. And a zabayon is zabayon, sabayon, however you wanna call it. It's uh, eggs. I use whole eggs and I put a couple of, you know, I put two, two whole eggs and five yolks. I put a little bit of sugar, it's about a half a cup. So we got five yolks, two whole eggs, half a cup of sugar, and a little bit of masala. This you have to measure carefully. <laughs> and then we're gonna make the, uh, we're gonna make the zabayon. So look, what we're gonna do, friends, we're gonna break the eggs. We're gonna break the eggs. And then, we're gonna cook them in a water bath. Now, you can do it on the burner if you're very good. If you're experienced, you can do it on a burner. But I highly recommend at home, you do it in a water bath. And what happened is we have to cook the egg until they are about 135, 140 degree temperature. And we know they cook. The reason why you do it on a water bath, friends, is it's because it won't burn as easily as if you do it on a burner. But if you don't want to dirty another pot, you can do it on the burner. Just be very, very careful for two things. One, because your towel is going to catch on fire. <laughs> and two, uh, because you could burn yourself. And it's easy to overcook them. I'm using a balloon whisk. Check it out. <laughs> That's a balloon whisk. And the balloon whisk is going to pump air into this. So we're going to cook it until it gets to... Uh, 135 to 145, let's say 135 to 145 degrees. And we'll know it's cooked because it will, uh, it will starting to, uh, uh, to change in color, not so much yellow, very pale yellow when it's cooked versus the bright yellow we started with. And, um, and this is gonna be a zabayon. Now years ago, in the restaurant business, we used to make a hot zabayon at the customer's table and pour it on top of strawberries. It was amazing. You can eat this like this, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna cool it, and then we're gonna mix it with whipped cream and, uh, and mascarpone cheese. We're gonna mix those two together, but first we have to cool this, you see? This, see the color is how it's changing? How it's changing. Let me make sure I got it on the right degrees right now. We're still a little bit far away, not too far, not too far. We want it to solidify, you see? Let me make sure this thing is working. There you go. I'm close, I'm close, friends. I'm at about 125. And you see it's starting to be very pale yellow and it's starting to solidify, you see? Now at this point, friends, you gotta really, really mix, otherwise you're gonna do scramble eggs. <laughs> We're not making scramble eggs. You see, this is a zabayon right there. It's really important to have a nice whisk, folks. You see? We're almost there, let me see what temperature we got. You'll know because it's starting to be very pale yellow. I'm at 100, oh. <laughs> I'm 132, so you know I'm very close. Very close, very close, friends. But I want to show you. You see, you can see the bottom of my pot. Look, look. You can see the bottom of my bowl right there. It's starting to solidify. You see? And look at the color. Let me tell you something, folks. You put this on top of strawberries. It's amazing. With a little powdered sugar. Fabulous. Oh, yeah. We're close, we're close. We're still 134, so it depends where I shoot it. I wanted to cook a little bit more. You actually have a perfectly cooked egg when you get to 145. So we're almost there. Remember, I don't want it to be granulated 
I don't want to scramble eggs now. Let me turn the heat off this thing because it's a little hot. And you see right there? This is a beautiful zabayon, friends. All right, so next step. Okay, the minute it's cooked, you'll know because it's starting to thicken, you see? It's got consistency of a soft whipped cream. You see? It's got consistency of a soft whipped cream, friends. Then you know you got it, and if you, look, if you have a digital thermometer, you'll be right at 140. You see right there? Temperature. You want to make sure you mix it up, friends, because if you don't, you're going to have scrambled eggs. You go around the bowl, see, go around the bowl, and keep mixing it, and you have consistency of a soft whipped cream. And this is all we need. So now what we're going to do, we're going to put it on ice. We're going to put it on ice. I'm going to put some water in there, put it on ice, and I'm going to let it get to room temperature. And room temperature in Florida, <laughs> I'd be lucky, I want to get it to like 60, 65 degrees. And then I'm going to take the whipped cream and I'm going to fold it in. So we're going to wait for this to get to the right temperature before we start doing the whipped cream. And then we'll put it all together. All right, friends? Great. Okay, friends. The uh, Zabayon is cold. I got it right there, folks. It's been on ice. It is now um, perfect temperature. I got it actually at 65 degrees. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to put it here. Ice bath makes it really easy. It didn't take that long to do it, really. I was off camera. You couldn't see it, but it, it probably took me about uh, 10, 15 minutes to get it to temperature, right? I got whipped cream here, soft whipped cream. Just whipped cream. That's all I got in here right, so far. Right, soft whipped cream. There you go, that's good enough. We're gonna take our whipped cream and we're going to put it right inside there. And uh, let me put this, uh, actually I can leave it right in here, right? Put my whipped cream in here, friend. And the whipped cream is pretty soft. I don't want it to be a hard whipped cream, for sure. Not putting it on a cake, I'm putting it in a zabayon, right? And then, should have take that whisk out of there. It would have made it more professional looking. <laughs> and uh, now we're gonna put the mascarpone cheese. If you don't have mascarpone cheese, you put a cream cheese, okay? Make sure it's at room temperature, eh? You can get mascarpone cheese just about everywhere. It's an Italian cream cheese, basically. So if you don't have a Italian cream cheese, use a, a whatever cream cheese you can find, eh? All right, mix it up really good. And we got our mixture right there, friends. We got a beautiful zabayon. You see? And this is what we're gonna make our frozen tiramisu with, you see? We're gonna mix it up really good. So it's nice and smooth, you see? Look how beautiful that is. Boy, I tell you what, I'm glad I didn't do my exercise this morning because I'm doing them now. <laughs> and here we have it, friends, beautiful. Let's clean this up, and now we're going to put the tiramisu together. Okay, okay, Doki. I think we're going to have to clean this up. Here we go. We got the beautiful. <laughs> I'm destroying everything today. Look how beautiful that is, folks. You see? Look how gorgeous that is. All right, now we're going to put the tiramisu together. Eh? I gotta clean this up, I can't even move it. Okay, now we're gonna put it together, friends. Sabayon is ready. Now we got the, uh, we're gonna dunk the lady fingers in a coffee. What I did is I made a very strong espresso, and uh, it's a lot of espresso, <laughs> very strong coffee. And then you put a little bit of whatever you wanna put in there. I got, I love it, little Captain Morgan, uh, spiced rum, it's delicious. And I like a little Kalua in there too. <laughs> Don't be shy now, okay? Make them happy. <laughs> Here you go. All right, so now this is our uh, uh, syrup. Then we're going to dunk our lady fingers in it. Yep, 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 yep. So this is why I need to put my gloves on because it gets a little messy. Otherwise, I got, uh, I got uh, uh, espresso in my fingers for three days. <laughs> All right, here we go, friends. So, oh, I got to get a ladle. And I gotta put that in there now. Look at this, look how beautiful it is, right? Okay, the first thing we do is we take a layer of this beautiful zabayon. 
with the whipped cream and the mascarpone, and we cover the bottom of it, okay? Oh, oh, I didn't tell you the most important. What I didn't tell you is then I, uh, I put a plastic wrap all the way on the bottom and on the side of it because that's what I'm going to use to end mold it. So plastic wrap, make sure it covers on all sides and it's all the way in the bottom, okay? It's very important to do that. I forgot to tell you almost, right? So now you take the lady finger. A lady finger, you want to let him soak about 10 seconds. So you put a 10 second, right? And then um, you wait. And then you put another one for 10 seconds. And then what you do, while the other one is soaking for 10 seconds, you go like this. All right? And then you put it right in there, just like this. All right? And then, see, right there? Oh, I didn't, I didn't put the other one. You put the other one in, and when this one is soaking, then you do it like this. And we continue like this. All right? And we continue, we continue, we continue. You see? And then put another one. It soaks for 10 seconds. Take the other one out. And while you do that, you see what I'm doing? I'm letting it drain completely. It's soaked. You don't want to leave it more than 10 seconds, otherwise they're going to fall apart. You see? Look. You see? Just like this, friends. Oh, put another one in. Take this one out. You see? Pretty simple, eh? And you're going to say, well, why don't you put them the other way? They fit better on the other way. Remember, take a second and take it out, right? Ten seconds and you take it out. Ten seconds, you take it out. You're going to say, why don't you put them in the other way? Because they fit so much better on the other way, right? <laughs> you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. You'll see what happens when I cut them. See, I'm going to cut them in slices. I'm going to have beautiful, trust me. Trust me on this one. Look, look, look. Take the zabayon right there. Look, you see? Right there. And make it nice and smooth and put another layer right there. You see? You see? Right there. Put another layer. And we're going to do it again. We're going to do that dance again with the, with the cookies. You see? Right there. Right there, right there, right there. All right? So now we'll do it again. But I'm in for 10 seconds. Wait for the other one to go. And then take it out. Oh, didn't leave it long enough. <laughs> Did I take the wrong one? That's possible. <laughs> now I'm confused. Right there. There you go. There you go. Put the other one in. You can't forget the other one. Put it in. Take the other one out. Oh. Right there. See? In the meantime, the other one is talking. Put the other one in. <laughs> see, there is a... Madness. There is a reason for my madness. Is that how you say? That's an expression, I think. <laughs> I make up expression all the time. Look, look, we're almost there, friends. Let me tell you. This is not uh, your grandmother with tiramisu, okay? This is Chef Jean-Pierre tiramisu, okay? Nobody makes tiramisu like this. You've seen the tiramisu out there. You've never seen tiramisu like this one, I promise you, friends. That's what happens when you're half Italian, half French. You see? Look, look. Put it in there. Now, you know what you could do also? I'll show you a trick. Because what happened is the bread loaf pan go like this. So that means now we have a little space in the middle. So here's what you do. And that's the piece I want. <laughs> Look, you go like this. You put this guy right in there. You see? Can you see it? All right. Now, I'm done with my gloves. Thank goodness. Now I'm going to take it right there. I'm going to put it on there. You see? And I'm going to cover the whole thing. I got a little x ray you can see. And this, you refrigerate, friends. You refrigerate it. And, you, and then when it's nice and set, because this is going to set beautiful, you see? Remember, it's got the whipped cream in it. This is going to set beautiful, right? And what happened is when you set it, let me give it a little more. This will be delicious. By itself, or over the bowl of sh fresh berries in there. Beautiful, right? So look. Fill it up. Pull up all the way, all the way, all the way. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to put a lot. Right? Look at this. All right? Fill it up. All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Right? Now, what we're going to do, we're going to take some cocoa powder. 
and we're going to put it all the way on top, and we're going to freeze this for 24 hours, friends. Trust me, 24 hours. 24 hours from now, you're going to come back, so stay with me. We'll have a party tonight. Stay with me with party. We'll open up some wine. We'll have a good time. <laughs> and we'll see you tomorrow. We're going to put this in the freezer. I'm going to, when it's cold, I'm going to put it in the freezer for an hour. So when it's cold, I'm going to wrap it all up. We're we'll leaving there overnight. And then I'll come back to you, and we're going to slice it, and we're going to plate it. When it is, you see, it's beautiful. All right, we'll be back soon. Okay, friends. Well, it's been in the freezer all night. So now let's cut it. <laughs> when do you see it? Oh yeah, this is amazing, friends. So you see, I got plastic wrap, right? I wrapped it, I wrapped it, wrapped it, wrapped it, wrapped it, wrapped it, wrapped it. Right there, it's all perfect, perfectly wrapped. You gotta do this when you put it in a freezer. Uh, you don't want to absorb any of the flavor you have in your freezer, <laughs> like garlic or anything. Right, you take it, put it upside down. Okay, now you watch how easy it is to come out because we are going to uh, use the plastic. Look, look, comes right out, right? Because it's a, it's a, um, uh, uh, the plastic wrap right there. Look, 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 how easy it is, see? See, that's why you wanna make sure you put the plastic wrap, make sure when you put it in, it's all tucked in, in there, right? And now get yourself a beautiful knife, right? A nice, very sharp knife. And what I do is I usually have a, a bucket of water right there then I, um, uh, I have a bucket of water that I use to uh, clean my knife every time. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut. The first cut might not be so special. I usually save it for me, the first cut. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You see, check it out. Check it out. Is that a beauty or what, friends? Look, look at this. Is that a beauty? What do you think? It's gorgeous, isn't it? So, look, we're going to take it right there. You know, so... Look at this. Now you understand why, friends, I decided to, oh, that's not, this one's got a little do, little boo-boo right here, so I'm not going to take that one. I'm going to make a nice plate out of this one right there. And now you understand the benefit. Then we're going to put it on a plate, just right there, just like that. We'll put it on a plate, right? Now you understand the benefit of, uh, of, uh, of doing it, putting the cookies this way instead of putting them this way. And all I do basically at this point, I take a, a, a little uh, mango coulis or an orange coulis and a, a raspberry coulis, raspberry coulis, and I, uh, I did this. Uh, I have a video on it, and we just take it, put a nice little uh, a spoon, nothing, nothing really fancy right there on the side, friends. And this, let me tell you, friends, this is a tiramisu that I promise you, your friends are going to go, wow, this is a tiramisu. And the beauty is you can make it in advance. You can keep it in the freezer as long as you want. I mean, as long as you want. Don't keep it 17 years, uh, but I promise you. And this, friends. Now, you know what I like to do? It's kind of like when I eat an ice cream. I kind of leave it out. I like to leave it out just a little bit so it's a little soft because it is an ice cream. It's a little soft, but let me tell you, let me test it to make sure it's good now. I want to make sure you know that it's good, huh? Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. It's one of the first time that I'm eating something and I'm not burning myself. Folks, you got to try to make this. It's a beautiful, beautiful, easy to make tiramisu. I hope you make it. You're going to enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We need more subscribers. <laughs> don't forget to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to ring the bell. Ring my bell, so then you'll remember every week when I do a video, you get on your phone, ding, I just upload a new video. We'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.